It's seven o'clock. This is a Sky News Tonight special live from West London, where at least 12 people have died in one of the worst residential fires for many decades. The number of dead are expected to rise after a massive blaze broke out at one o'clock in the morning, destroying a 24-storey tower block. I, I heard a lot of screams and I could see, after I got outside, I was looking up and I could see people banging on the windows and there was fire all around them. It was horrendous. Well, dozens of people are feared to have been trapped inside. Fire crews have battled throughout the day to rescue residents. Worried family members launched a desperate hunt for missing loved ones amid mounting anger. The residents were advised to stay inside their flats. There are very legitimate and very reasonable questions that a whole host of people are asking, and they deserve and demand answers. Well, questions now centre around a recent refurbishment of the tower. Emergency checks have been ordered on all similar work taking place across the UK. Firemen who began their shifts in the middle of the night are only just leaving the scene. And tonight, the local community is opening its doors, offering food, clothes and shelter to the hundreds left homeless by the fire. A very good evening, live from West London, where we're by one of the main routes into the capital. It's close to the massive Westfield shopping centre, very close to Shepherd's Bush. But the skyline has been dominated all day by smoke pouring, still smouldering from that building, a massive fire that has all but destroyed that 24-storey tower block. At least 12 people died after flames tore through the Grenfell Tower around about 1 o'clock this morning. But the block contains 120 homes and hundreds of people are thought to have been caught up in the disaster. Police say they expect the number of dead to rise, officially 12 so far. And fire crews have spent the day trying to bring one of the worst residential fires in decades under control. Tonight, relatives of the missing are still searching for their loved ones. Now, our main report tonight comes from Jason Farrell. And just to warn you, it contains video filmed by one of the residents inside the tower as it burned, which some may find distressing. <laughs> 